Elgar's Nimrod and uh, I thought that was very fitting for this very special day, Remembrance Sunday. Um, always sort of uh, the older I get as well, uh, the more you think of things of these, uh, the people, remembering people um, who fought innocent people, uh, fought in the forces, uh, wherever that may be, under the sea, on the sea, in the air, on the ground, um, give their lives, risk their lives um, for our freedom and our futures. Um, whether you agree with wars, nobody wants wars, but because of greed uh, on whoever's part, they do happen. And it's always the innocent people that suffer the worst, really. But Remembrance Sunday is to remember the people who lost their lives. And um, so my respect to everybody. And this is what the video today is. Uh, Remembrance Sunday Shave. How are you doing? I hope you've had a fantastic week and uh, some good shaves. I hope you're in good health and a very, 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 say once more, very basic shave again. Um, I am using a, a 1940s Gillette Rocket, British Rocket uh, razor, non adjustable, very large amount of overhang. You can see that. Um, I'm going to use that today, 1940s, going back, uh, bringing the past, uh, remembering the past into the future, sort of thing. Um, using the palm olive shaving cream, nice and simple, same scent as the soap, only it's much easier to, it's a cream. Uh, it's a green cream, but it lathers up white, there you can see, and I'm using uh, the British limited, limited edition. Wilkinson sword brush they brought out and if you can't read that I'll read it for you now it says if I can read without glasses perfect for a very British shave you can see the, the colours there Union Jack and things so it's uh, it's nice just a little something and uh, red mixing bowl and other products I'll show you as and when. And we're going to talk today um, about, I had a question which I said I'd answer in the last video, which I didn't, so I'm doing it in this one. Um, I just wet my face. And that's about if I daily shaved. Um, again, very, very simple really. Um, it wouldn't be nothing like what I do in these shaves. And I'll explain as I shave uh, how I would do it because you've got to alter a shave um, to what your skin can take, what you can take, and what's good for you. Really. I know I overshave in these shaves, but um, if you were daily shaving, it's a different thing. Anyway, lather up. Beautiful. I think we had, um, well, Mrs. H seen uh, four black Range Rovers in a town, next town to us, and uh, police cars and people in suits in one of the Range Rovers, and one's a decoy vehicle, and all oh, this. I think it was the, something to do with the Royals, maybe, because uh, Prince William and Kate. Princess Kate, oh no, Lady, or oh, Cambridge, whatever they are, I forgot their names now, but Prince William and Kate, they were in Chester the other day, I think, so um, maybe that was something to do with all that um, thing, but, right, the British Rocket, here we go, non-adjustable, um, oh, I haven't said what I'm using inside, come on, Paul, and it's a Gillette Nasset, brand new, very good. Let's warm that razor up, shall we? There we go. Ready? Here we go. Remembrance Sunday shave. Oh, 
someone did say um, if I could use a World War II or Second World War for 1940s shave for Remembrance Sunday, but it's not about that. It's Remembrance Sundays about all wars, whether they've been First World War, whatever, any war, past and present, you know, just remembering those people who've lost their lives. Yeah. I think we're very good today at the world so fast. A million miles an hour. I mean, it, it won't carry on. It'll fizzle out. But, uh, yeah, it's this is a lovely. Um, it's not aggressive, but it's a lovely, this blade probably, um, it just feels nice, isn't it? Mind you, it should do as a Gillette, isn't it? Not as tidy as last time. <laughs> right. Just to clean the face. That's pass number one. Very nice, and uh, I'll see you in pass number two. Right, welcome to pass number two. Now, before I go further, I don't normally do this, but I'm going to do it for this one-off. Um, I was contacted by um, Matthias, I hope I say your name right, uh, Sweden. There is a, a shaving, a wet shaving meetup next year 2018 in uh, Sweden um, so if you're from that area if you go to the description of this video there'll be a Facebook link to this chap's uh, uh, Facebook page which will explain about the meetup where it is the time and all that sort of stuff um, yeah so if you're interested if you're in that area there will be a wet shavers meetup there so the um, Details to the Facebook page in the description. Right, on to the daily shave. What would I do? Okay. Well, personally, uh, if I had to shave every day, uh, it would be a simple. Use the same products. Wouldn't really, well, I wouldn't probably use a Merca Future or something like that. Not for daily. But if I had to use a Merca Future, It'd be on number one and it would be sort of probably once with the grain and maybe once across um, but something like this it would depend how I feel how the skin feels um, and how your beard I, I wouldn't go for BBS baby smooth I would go for look as long as it looked well shaved so that would probably be sort of lather up like this now this is the second pass obviously for this shave but I would lather up Look how good that is. About two pounds this tube of soap. The scent is amazing. It's slick, works well. We can buy it. Um, there's no danger of them stopping making it, hopefully. It's been around for years and that's why it's around. People trust it. They know it'll be there for them to buy. Like Unlike these um, Big names I can mention that stop doing very popular scented soaps like grapefruit for some silly reason. I don't know why. But anyway, so I would lather up and I would shave with the growth normally. And then I would probably lather up again like this and go across the growth. And you may ask, why wouldn't you do a three pass shave? I'd love to do one. I'd do a four pass shave every day, twice a day if I could. <laughs> but my skin couldn't handle it. 
believe it or not. And it wouldn't be pleasant then. It wouldn't be as enjoyable. Although my skin, I must admit, has over the years become much better, uh, less irritated. It can handle more, but that's probably because it's adjusted to this way of shaving. And the fact that I'm gentle, you know. So this is a, there, look. that's from last time again. Good slickness. I would probably just do like that. Um, and I'll just rinse and I'll show you. This is me personally, by the way. I'm not telling you to do it this way, so. <laughs> but um, if you can see now, that looks. I wouldn't be, that's not a proper shave for me because it's still, but it looks good. Good enough to go to work and people say, oh yeah, you've shaved and that would be good. Um, but I will say for me personally, what I would do is if I thought, well, mm, it's rough there, I, I can probably take, my skin will take another shave, I would do it. So it would just depend on the day, how the skin felt, um, what I was using. But to put a basic rule, I would go with the growth and across the growth. Um, maybe against the growth, as I say, if I felt it, you know, I could do it without feeling any pain, razor burn or whatever. But um, that would be the rule of thumb, two, two passes normally. Um, but as it's not, a daily shave. We're going to go for pass number three, so I'll see you in a minute. And welcome back to this Wilkinson sword. It's a straight hair there. Oh, just off. Uh... <laughs> this is exactly the same as the black handled version, but um, they just brought it out for a special edition, which is nice. Thick and creamy. Just as I like it. Good blade. Really pleased with the NASA blade. And um, fantastic razor. You can only think of the chap that used that. You know, whew. was he involved in the wars? Hope not. Right, against the growth, third pass. Using the Gillette. So it's uh, the focus on this shave, as I say, it is shaving. But it's um, Remembrance Sunday, just to remember all those that's passed away. And not forgetting those that were injured as well, lost limbs and arms and legs and sight and all that sort of stuff, because that kills part of your life, doesn't it? I just caught my ear then, I felt that. I uh, must have whew, got to be careful. Right, Sunday dinner, roast beef, um, boiled potatoes, 
what I have in. Either garden peas, uh, no, garden peas and carrots, that's right. Uh, Yorkshire, Yorkshire pudding. And, uh, which will be filled with gravy, lashings of, lashentos. Uh, yeah, so that'll be very nice actually. And because I'm having gravy, I won't have mustard on the beef, which I also like, or horseradish. That's lovely. And you know what time it is now? It's... <laughs> you said it so well. Pick up time! <laughs> Pick up. I wonder if they did that. <laughs> I'd love them to come back from years ago to see us today, sort of using their ways of shaving. Although a lot used the straight then, I suppose. But, um, if they've seen us, I think you know, they're still using them razors. You know, they must have thought that we'd all be using lasers by now. But, um, Good slick cream this. Just does what it says on the tin. It's a lovely scent, it's been around for years. Um, it's easy to lather up, you don't need a lot. It's slick, it works, it protects the skin during the shave. Leaves good slickness as I say. And um, That in turn leaves you happy. So this isn't an aggressive razor and it is not the mildest of razors, it's just got a bite to it, you can see the gap. There. Not adjustable but it's, it's nice. And actually on the the further you go with these passes and closer you get to the skin, it does um, this blade does pack a bit of a bite in this. Well, it does bit me. Yeah. That's her remembrance. That she stopped. Camera shy. Right, how does that feel? Very nice. Okay, let's rinse off. Absolutely beautiful. Look at this. Oh, roses. Lovely. There's a church um, a few miles away up in um, uh, Bodel Withan. You try and say that. It's called, we call it the Marble Church. It's by um, Bodel Withan Castle. And um, I think that church, Fred Dibner, the steeplejack, visited it. And, uh, a beautiful church and there's a lot of um, Canadian graves, war graves there, white, all white and uh, somebody asked me why are there Canadian graves, they will probably lost their lives here, you know, uh, or something like that and um, it's the same as asking why is there British graves in America or Canada, well, probably because they lost their lives there or whatever, I have no idea, but um, they're there and it's nice to see them, but, you know what I mean, I mean it's nice to see them. It's uh, respectful to see them, to, it's a privilege to go around and read them and, you know, 
just uh, love looking around cemeteries as weird as that may sound because it's a lot of history it's like a it's like if you go into an old cemetery especially in this country it's like reading a history book of the area um, if you ever go to a strange town to you strange I don't mean strange uh, Go to the cemetery and have a look around and if you want to know a bit of history about the place. There's no talking in there. It's <laughs> but uh, reading the graves and the... Anyway, God, I'm... Don't worry about it. Thayer's Cucumber. Every time, Thayer's cucumber, beautiful. Tastes like cucumber as well. Cucumber, which reminds me, I've just um, Friday I did some sliced cucumber and onion in vinegar, malt vinegar, in a bowl. And I leave it soak for days, and then I just take some out with a cheese sandwich. So it's cheese and onion with a vinegary sort of pickly taste, and oof, I love anything like that. This is a shaving channel, Paul, not a food channel. Right, sorry about that. That's lovely. And I thought I would use, this is the Marks and Spencers, is it? Yeah. Um, wood Spice uh, Burgundy Aftershave. Burgundy Aftershave. That's nice, that. Lovely. <laughs> that is nice. Smell that. That is nice. Very nice. Um, and that's it. I think just a bit of the L'Oreal, the uh, birch sap. I love this stuff. This was on offer the other day, and I didn't buy any. Hey, that's unheard of. That's why I've got about a thousand palm olive shave sticks. 49p or sometimes it'll be some sort of offer. And I think, you know, you've got, a th well, that's an exaggeration, but you've got loads of them at home. It doesn't matter, it's an offer. And there's something in here just goes like that and puts it in. It's weird. Oh, but it's not harming nobody. Right, how does that look? Respectable for Remembrance Sunday. It's a lovely piece of music, Nimrod. So, my thoughts and uh, my fullest respect goes to any, any person from the past up to the present in any war. Um, just a thank you for keeping us safe and keeping the country free um, allowing us to live the lives we do um, must never ever forget that uh, just very much respect people um, that do that for you know for our country and you respect us but for your country you know but um, anywhere in the world, um, we will remember them, as they say. So uh, if you're going out, if you're going anywhere um, with a Remembrance Sunday related, you know, if you're going to the uh, service, like the Cenotaph or anything like that in your area, I hope, it's, uh, I hope the weather is kind, just for the service at least. Um, I'm not going, but I do watch the one in London on the television. Um, nice. Thank you very much for watching. And being, I've behaved, I'm not in this, to be fair. I have calmed myself down. Um, so I hope you have a fantastic Sunday. Uh, some great shaves. And um, good respect. 
remembrance of these people. And I'll see you on Wednesday for the midweek shave. So take care of yourselves. And uh, thanks again.